Today I'm going to show you how to use Cinema 4D in Arnold and use a basic image compositing workflow. I'm going to show you the camera calibrator tag and I'm going to show you how to add a shadow catcher to the scene. So let's start by adding a camera. Right mouse click on your camera, go to tracker tags and camera calibrator. Come down to image, choose the image you want to use. I'm just going to choose this basic background and then go to calibrate. Since this particular image is a uh, it has a naturally occurring grid. I'm going to use, add a grid to the scene, and this is going to define what is the ground. It'll tell cinema where the ground is in the scene. So go ahead and add a grid. And if you hover over, you'll turn white, and you notice these boxes show up in the uh, corners. So just click and drag, and I'm going to go ahead and just line these up. And that's about right. So now what we need to do is define what is the Z axis and X axis. Uh, if you look in the bottom left, you'll see Z is blue and X is red. And so if you hover back over and go to the outside of the uh, grid and hold shift and click, we want this to be our Z axis. So click and it is blue indicating that that is the Z axis. Then come back to the front. This will be our X axis. So again, hold shift and click. And now we've defined our X. So we have X and Z. And if you look at the bottom right, you'll see that we've solved for X. Indirectly, it's solved for Y and for Z. Next, what we need to do is add a pin. And that'll make that small circle. And if you notice here, now our camera position is solved. Uh, you can move this around. I would move it somewhere in the middle uh, where you're planning on dropping whatever it is you're compositing into the scene. So next, what you want to do is create a background object. So just down here in the bottom right, click Create Background Object. And it did just that. It created a background, and we've created a texture. So next, what we need to do is go ahead and create a shadow catcher. So I'm just going to use a plane. I call that Shadow Catcher. And let me... R to rotate and line this up roughly where I want it. Hit T to transform and scale. And we'll scale that up. That looks good. To create an actual shadow catcher, it's actually really easy in Arnold. Click Create, Arnold, Surface, Shadow Mat, and drag that onto your shadow catcher. Next, what we need to do is we need to add light, something that's going to cast our shadow. So I'm just going to add Arnold Sky. And I'm going to use an HDR image. So click here next to Color, choose Texture. And I have this HDR Outdoors, which I downloaded for free from Polygon.com. I'll include that in the description below. Click Open. And I know from experimenting with this image earlier, I want to turn this at about a negative 90 degrees. All right, come back to sky. And we want to turn off uh, the visibility of the sky. So come down to camera and turn that down to zero. And I also, from experimentation, I, I want to add another light to the scene. It... it helped uh, bring out the shadows a little bit more. So I'm going to add another Arnold light. I'm going to do a distant light. And again, I played with this earlier. That was about a negative 75 degrees, I believe. So now that we have our lights, we have our ground catcher and our camera in our background, what we want to do is go ahead and add something to the scene that will cast a shadow. I'm just going to add a basic cube and I'm gonna hit I'm gonna pull this up hit T to transform and scale and I'm gonna add a small fillet radius of maybe 1.5 and I'm gonna hit C to make this editable and just so I can get it right onto the ground plane easily, I'm going to hit Shift-C 
Type in Access Center. Double click here. And I'm going to put my Y all the way to the bottom. Click Execute. And now this will be at the bottom of your cube. So this will make it a lot easier when I drop it into a cloner. This is just purely for visual. This You don't have to do this. So I'm going to drop this into the cloner. And I'm going to make a grid array. I'm going to rotate this. Add a random effector. I do not want the Y. And the reason I moved the cube's orientation all the way to the bottom is so when you scale the image, that it scales from the bottom. So no matter what size it is, they'll all be on the ground. Pull this out a little bit. We'll go ahead and rotate these slightly. And we will go here. Let's make sure that the cubes are actually on the ground. So hit E and go ahead and move that and make sure that they are. We'll add a basic texture. I'm just going to pick a basic blue. Drop that onto our cube. If we run the IPR. You can see our shadows and you can see our cubes. I'm going to go ahead and render that so you can see a bigger view.